think it's the best job over here. I, I really like the idea of saving people. This was my uh, first combat save as an aircraft commander, and uh, it's what I wanted always to do uh, since I've been over here. It's uh, just a super fantastic feeling. The rescue of downed airmen in hostile territory is a dramatic story in itself. I think I w wouldn't have bet my last dollar that they wouldn't be around. And uh, they put that thing right in the trees just about to get me out. And actual rescue recovery, why, we're the force that actually goes in right smack into where he's hanging in the trees, in some cases, or where he's down deep in the jungle. Our flight crews, such as the flight engineers and the PJs we have in the back, are really a great bunch of guys. As far as the job pararescue men here, we're gunners, we're medics. We go down on the ground to get the survivor. We stay with the survivor if we have to. And I direct the pilot over to the survivor. And then uh, when the survivor gets on the penetrator and everything, gives me a thumb up indication, I start bringing him up. It's our job to provide the protection for the Jolly Green Giants. And to do it, we use this A1 position of hovering over the survivor. If somebody starts shooting, we immediately start shooting back. During a SAR, there's generally a FAC in the area that becomes the first on-scene commander. When the whole effort is over, when the nail or the FAC, the Sandy and the Jolly have all done their thing, and Jolly gets that man aboard, it's a pretty good feeling. I was in clouds all the way down to the ground just about, and uh, when I landed, uh, that was part of my first thoughts, too, was uh, I better be prepared to stay here for a while because uh, there's not even going to be a way they can come in and get you out. 2-6 is down right over here on the other side of the trail. After the, uh, the aircraft blew up around me, uh, I uh, thought I was dead, dead at first right there. You, you get that feeling, uh, all of a sudden you're just dead. And uh, when I got on the ground, I uh, thought about that and uh, what I was going to do next. And uh, my, uh, my wife and my dog back home and my house. And uh, you know, it just kind of pushes you on a little bit. And you figure you made it that far, you were gonna, you're going to get back OK. Now, Rod, we've got the uh, jollies at the holy point. And he also comes out. Okay, that looks uh, pretty good. You should be here in about another minute or so. Uh, Rod Snail, uh, I have you in sight here. Clear to mark. Uh, Roger, and Snail's in to mark the guns. Okay, you guys tell me I'm going to smoke. Uh, that's for I'm going to tell me I'm going to smoke. Okay, let's uh, put your keys all around and smoke there. It the, looks like about 14 to 7 or something coming out there. to see a helicopter that quick. And, uh, it's a pretty looking, pretty looking thing when you're standing down there and he comes in there. Andy, hey guys, keep it open, keep your eyes open. To west to the high car. Straight ahead on the top of the ridge line. Go ahead. I got, the oh, I got him. Hold your hover. 
Hold your hover. Taking out the slack. Hold your hover. Hold your hover. Hold your hover. Slack down. Survivor's coming up. Hold your hover, baby. Hold your hover. Looking good. Hold your hover. Hold your hover. Survivor's coming up. It's about 10 foot off the ground. Hold your hover. Hold your hover. Hold your hover. Survivor's coming up. Hold your hover. You're close to a tree. Hold your hover. It's right about 10 foot below the aircraft. 10 foot below the aircraft. Hold your hover, baby. Hold your hover. 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 Survivor's at the door. Survivor's coming in the door. Survivor, pin is secure. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, talk to me. We're coming out. We're coming out. Sandy's coming out. Okay. for the support I know we got when we first went in there we'd have probably been shot down ourselves there's nothing greater than going up there picking up a guy you know would ended up as being a POW or MIA if we didn't get in and get it I, really don't know. I, don't, I just can't say enough about those guys it's a heck of a way to find out how, how great they are but uh, when it happens so they're there 100% for you Last night so far away I dreamed myself a dream Well I dreamed I was so all alone Isn't it nice to be home again Well I said isn't it nice to be home again